Hi, this is McPresnell and this is part two of the tutorial on the square of opposition. In this tutorial we'll look at inferences from universal to particular claims, empty sets and existential import, and the two squares of opposition, the traditional or Aristotelian and the modern or also called the Boolean square. Here's the square of opposition showing the relationship between the four standard types of propositions the A, the E, the I, and the O claims. The top two claims, the A and the E claims, are universal claims because they say something about all members of their subject categories. If it is true that all birds have feathers, it seems perfectly obvious that there will also, it will also be true that some birds have feathers. But something peculiar happens when we start talking about empty sets. Remember that an empty set is a category that doesn't have any members in it. So for instance, there are no leprechauns, so the category leprechaun that is being used in this claim is empty. Here's the problem. The I claim some SRP, or in this example, some leprechauns wear green hats, means that there is at least one leprechaun that wears a green hat. But there aren't any leprechauns. So the statement is actually false. How can this be since earlier we said that if an A claim is true, then the I claim must also be true? The problem is that if the subject of the A claim is an empty set, we can't infer that the I claim is true. We can only infer the truth of the I claim from an A claim if the A claim is talking about something that actually exists. This wasn't a problem for Aristotle because he invented logic to help understand things that he categorized on the basis of observation. In other words, it didn't make sense to Aristotle to worry about empty sets at all. He was only interested in applying logic to things that we can observe and categorize. As it turns out, however, being able to account for empty sets in logic is useful in somewhat the same way as the concept of zero in mathematics is useful. Mathematics couldn't adva advance past a certain point until the zero was invented and logic couldn't adva advance past Aristotle's logic until we figured out how to deal with empty sets. This is what is called the issue of existential import. In other words, the importance of whether or not we are talking about something that actually exists. It makes a difference in what we can infer. We can't infer that at least one example of a category exists if there are none in the category to begin with so there can't be at least one leprechaun wearing a green hat if there are no leprechauns. This means there are two versions of the logical square. The traditional square or Aristotelian square in which we assume the sets are not empty. And the modern or Boolean square in which it is possible that the categories are empty sets. The modern square of opposition is also called the Boolean square after the logician Boole who made great contributions to modern logic. So in the modern square of opposition it is not valid to infer an I claim from an A claim nor for the same reason an O claim from an E claim. E claims are also universal, O claims are particular. In the modern or Boolean square you cannot infer a particular from a universal claim. 